Hey, and welcome to another video. So in this video, we'll be taking a look at this knockoff iPod Nano third generation that I accidentally bought off eBay. Um, I bought this thinking it was a real pink iPod Nano third gen. It turned out to be a fake. I bought it for parts for a different iPod Nano that I'm doing a project on, but then obviously I can't use parts from a knockoff because they're gonna be different. But I thought might as well have some fun with it, take a look, closer look at it and see what's up. I also got a refund, so no big deal there. He's like, keep it, and he refunded me the money. Um, also, don't forget to hit that like button and check out my channel. And if you like what you see, please consider subscribing. All right, let's jump right in. All right, so firstly, let's take a closer look at the device itself. So it's made of plastic. Uh, unlike a real iPod Nano 3rd Gen, as you can see here, this, this one's made of aluminum and the back is made of stainless steel. Um, this thing, the back is made of steel, but a very, very cheap steel, very thin. Um, the plastic also easily can be like squished in, as you can see there, it's not really good plastic. Uh, the click wheel is really hard to press. It's not this smooth feeling pressing click wheel. I don't think this even has the touch sensitive controls. A lot of borders along, around the display. The buttons feel really cheap. Um, the lock button is also plastic instead of the standard, standard steel lock button, as you can see there. So plastic lock button. It has an identical connector to the original iPod Nano, as you can see there. Uh, so I, I'm assuming we can use a standard 30 pin. So I have uh, a 30 pin connected here. We'll see if it turns on because I've never turned this one on yet. So we'll see if it turns on. I've unplugged everything else just in case this thing fries the switch or something because you know, you could never trust these. Let's see if it turns on. Uh, okay, that's a really tight fit. But... Mm, doesn't seem to have power. Uh, I've turned the switch on and yeah, it, prob it probably doesn't work. Um, and obviously I'm not gonna try and repair such a thing. Um, yeah, doesn't seem to be powering on in any way or another. Let's try that again. Um, nope, so wait. Maybe it actually has an on switch because no, usual iPods, they don't have an on off switch. They have a sleep switch. You, you can never technically turn them off. Maybe this thing has like an on off switch. Doesn't seem like it. No, it's just dead. All right, let's take it apart, see what's inside. All right, so the original iPod is held together by locks around the edge of the body, like they're locked in place. Um, it does a pretty good job of holding it down. This thing, I'm assuming, it, it has this one screw, screw at the back, so I'm assuming it's like a sliding me mechanism of some sort. Let's take that off. Um, how do I... Yeah, it's, sli it's a sliding mechanism. A lot of these knockoffs have that... Uh, it's like a sliding mechanism. There, A lot of these knockoff devices, they are very similar on the inside. Um, the the design's also pretty similar, um, and they're pretty cheaply built. So here's the inside of this thing. Um, yeah, it's got a standard LiPo battery, a really cheap looking uh, three, uh, 30 pin connector there, bad soldering, uh, I don't know what, I think that's the memory chip. I don't know what the storage on this thing is either. Um, let's take it apart further. So it's not turning on, so it's junk. Well, even if it did turn on, it's still junk. So let's just completely take it apart and see what we have. And for reference, I do have the internals of a real iPod Nano right here. That's the internal of a real iPod Nano third gen. So there's no ugly LiPo, cheap LiPo battery just sitting there. It's a really high quality lithium polymer battery. Um, so yeah, let's take this part further. 
So you may ask, like you know a lot, like you may ask me, but hey, you know a lot of a lot about iPods and stuff, but how did you end up buying a knockoff? I usually go on eBay while I'm half asleep. That's kind of a bad habit that I have, and I buy things. Um, I was looking for a display for another project iPod, and maybe I saw this, I'm like, huh, okay, I might get that. But I probably didn't take a proper look at it to notice that it's fake. But the seller had not listed it as fake either. He was like, iPod Nano. So he had not stated anywhere that it's fake or not. So kind of misleading. So he uh, just gave me back the money without uh, without question. Um, and I got to keep this piece of junk as well. Uh, yeah, so this definitely does not have a a scroll wheel a touch sensitive scroll it's just this cheap really unpleasant buttons um the display is around the same size like two inches um yeah it's just a basic two-part motherboard um this is the charging circuit yeah this entire thing is probably the charging circuit this is the rest of it it's a two-part motherboard um and yeah it's just junk um i think the battery is probably dead so that's why it's probably not working um the switch is also hanging in like just barely hanging in there um battery space it down pretty cheap stuff so that's what's inside a cheap knockoff ipod nano um that I accidentally bought from eBay. And this is a real, the real internals of an iPod Nano. So as you can see there, big difference. This one, I've taken the display out. And yeah, I guess that's it for this video. Just a real quick video. I just wanted to take it apart. So I thought I might as well take it apart on screen, on, on video. So if you liked it, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. And if you like what you see, please consider subscribing. I'll see you guys in my next video.